Welcome to Drawing Solution, where we explore the art of isometric drawing. In this comprehensive tutorial, we'll guide you through the process of creating an isometric drawing from scratch. Whether you're a beginner or looking to refine your skills, this step-by-step -step guide will help you master the fundamentals of isometric drawing. So, let's dive in and unleash your creativity. To begin, Mark the center point of your drawing sheet and label it as point O. This will serve as the reference point for all subsequent measurements and constructions. Create the baselines for your drawing. Start by drawing a line X inclined at 30 degrees from the baseline. Then, draw to lines Y and Z at 90 degrees and 150 degrees from the baseline, respectively. These lines will form the foundation of our isometric projection. Determine the front side of the object you're drawing. Let take this side as front. From the front view, plane C is the line you would see when looking at the object from the top and rectangle when you're looking at front. Plane C measures to by 8 centimeters, so draw a rectangle with these dimensions to represent it. Draw a parallel line to the horizontal x direction, which is 8 cm. Draw a vertical line by 2 cm. Make horizontal line, which is 8 cm. Connect the horizontal lines by vertical to centimeters line. In the front view, plane B appears as a 4 cm by 4 cm square. From the top view, it appears as a line measuring 4 cm. Position plane B by moving it to centimeters away from plane C. To create plane A, which is perpendicular to line Z, extend for centimeters from plane B towards the depth of the drawing. The total height of the object is 8 centimeters. Since we have already allocated for centimeters for plane B and to centimeters for plane C, the remaining is to centimeters. Draw a line upward measuring to centimeters to complete plane A. Draw a line measuring 6 cm parallel to the x-axis. And another line measuring for cm parallel to the y-axis. Connect the endpoints of these lines to form an inclined line. Extend the lines by 2 cm parallel to z-axis. Connect the endpoints of all the lines created throughout the process to finalize the isometric drawing. Connect all endpoints of line by vertical, which is parallel to y-axis, and horizontal, which is parallel to x-axis. But there is no line which is parallel to z-axis. It appear like point when we see by front direction. Make inclined line which is similar by length and inclination with the first one. Connect endpoint of extend lines by 6 cm parallel line with x plane. Connect endpoint of extend lines from plane B by 4 cm parallel line with x plane. Link the endpoints of the lines that extend from plane B by 4 cm to the 6 cm long Z plane in a parallel manner. And there you have it. We've reached the end of this tutorial on creating isometric drawings. I hope you enjoyed following along and that you've learned some valuable techniques to apply in your own artistic endeavors. Remember, the key to mastering isometric drawing is practice, so keep experimenting and challenging yourself. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more art tutorials. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, happy drawing!